Yo, what's up guys? What is going on? Zach or Immortal here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again as always. Today guys, we are jumping back into the world of Call of Duty World War 2 to talk about easily the most dominant SMG in the game. Now, there's a lot of very, very strong weapons in World War II. The gun we're talking about today, guys, is easily a contender for the top three in the game, at least in my own opinion. The gun that we're talking about, I'm sure you guys have guessed it by now. It's in the gameplay. It's in the thumbnail. It's probably in the title. It is the Type 100. Now, I feel like it's a super underrated weapon, in all honesty. I feel like people are more keen to look towards the PPSH or maybe even the Thompson in the SMG category. But man, the Type 100, I feel like is just so viable in any sort of situation. You can use the Type 100 long range. It might take a few more shots to kill, and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it might feel like it takes a few too many shots to kill, but you can still do it. You can literally map people with this gun. You can kill people across the map with the Type 100. Now, I'm just saying, I don't really see too many clips of people using the PPSH or the Thompson or even some of the other SMGs, the Grease Gun, whatever, to kill people across the map. You can be playing uh, St. Marie du Mont or St. Marie, whatever that map is called, and you can sit window to window. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about right there, dead center of the map, and you can use a Type 100 and win a gunfight uh, against even an AR or an, uh, a sniper sometimes, depending on the opposing player's aim and skill level. But you can seriously kill people with mad range using this gun like it's it's super underrated in my opinion of course medium range and close range the weapon is going to be solid it's an SMG it's meant for those kinds of gunfights but the fact that it actually has uh, the the chance to pick off enemies and win gunfights long range I feel like really transforms this SMG into one of the better guns in the game now let's go ahead and let's talk about what is going to make this gun so good now there's a specific attachment setup that I am a really big fan of it only requires three attachments so you can either use the primed uh, basic training which is what I would recommend or you could use the uh, the infantry division and just level it up past rank two. Either or will get you three attachments. Hey, you could even use both together and have four attachments on this gun. I wouldn't be against that because honestly, the more attachments on this gun, the better it's going to perform. You just have to miss out on something either in the basic training category or the division category, but it's up to you. I would just advise that you use three attachments on the Type 100. Now, what are those three attachments? Let's run through them. The first one is going to be a rapid fire. The SMG category is full of of weapons that have a super high fire rate with the exception of the type 100 and the grease gun off the top of my head those are two guns that really don't have a crazy high fire rate for being smgs the type 100 though with rapid fire really is more viable in those close range situations it still might lose some gunfights to maybe like the wah for the ppsh up close depending on who gets the first shot off you know that's that specific engagement but uh rapid fire on the type 100 you can seriously just melt people close range and medium range and then like i said long range it's still viable even with rapid fire on it however if you are going to use rapid fire you are going to increase that rate of fire you're going to want to have extended mags on there especially for those longer range situations uh, it takes quite a few bullets to kill i'm not going to lie it is an smg so it has that fall off damage rate so you know the further away you are from an enemy the more shots it's going to take to kill obviously that's sort of a realistic thing for any weapon ever in the history of weapons but uh it, it does take quite a few bullets to kill sometimes depending on the range in which you are engaging an enemy so extended mags really does help out there you don't have to worry about stopping mid gunfight per se to reload and then try and jump back into that by then you're probably going to get picked off because that enemy will be waiting for you but uh rapid fire exit mag is a deadly combo on the type 100 and then i personally like to use grip as well just to minimize that recoil personally i'm a big fan of the iron sights on the type 100 especially some of the variants i know the heroic variant that you get out of a supply drop i can't remember the name off the top of my head but i've seen gameplay with it that iron sights look super super good so aiming with this gun is pretty easy you don't need an optic like the lens sight or red dot and uh honestly if you want to be that kind of player who rushes around a ton i would suggest using the airborne division and just using primed and you don't necessarily even need quick draw because you can start hip firing and uh, start adsing while you're hip firing and chances are you'll be able to get that kill regardless of not being able to draw your sights first um so my go-to setup would definitely be grip extended mags and rapid fire on the type 100 uh, if you wanted to add a fourth attachment and use the combination of primed and infantry on this weapon I would definitely go with either advanced rifling or quick draw. Either of those is going to net you an advantage in some sort of engagement, whether that be uh, close to medium range with quick draw or medium to long range with advanced rifling. It just sort of depends on your play style, but that is my go-to setup for the Type 100. That is definitely the most dominant setup to use with one of the most dominant weapons in the game. If you guys enjoyed this video or you just found it helpful, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up, slap that like button. It would be much appreciated. And if you guys are brand new to 
the channel, make sure to subscribe with those channel notifications on. That way, you never miss another upload. That is going to wrap things up for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Until then, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.